lands of old Loch Lomond, mid the moor and heather tall. But there strayed a last name Dolly, with her pipe she could enthrall. She played a tune so haunting, that the thistle bowed in grace. Her music told of heroes and of wretched Skeletor's embrace. He man needed saving in the shadows of Snake Mountain. Evil lurked and whispered near Skeletor's dark fountain. Down from skies came Zodak with wisdom ancient primal. Together they sought Ali, her bagpipe deemed essential. Ali the Piper! Within Eternia's land Through the mists and ancient forests Under tartan skies of fire Marched Ali with her bagpipes Her heart a roaring pyre Her notes to dance with spirits From the isle sky to Clive Every monster in the dark Would tremble then and hide So that raised an astral hand Guiding through the fear he man took up his sword and the light the path made clear Songs of war and legends stolen in the echoes cheer The power of Ali's piping vanquished fold its nears Ali the piper hear her calling through the night When so long she is blazing her melody the light To the aid of he man her music fierce and bright Skeletor's bones are trembling with is alive. It's time for another history lesson. Over the top and amid the carnage and confusion of no man's land stepped the Highland Regimental Bagpipers, screaming out the charge. It was the most awful music to be heard by men who have the Highlanders against them, and with fixed bayonets and hand grenades they stormed the German trenches. This is the story of the Bagpipers of World War I, the Ladies from Hell, nicknamed Die Damon Asterhull. Ladies from Hell by German soldiers for their distinctive tartan kilts and unparalleled bravery, the Pipers from the Black Watch, the 3rd Battalion, Royal Regiment of Scotland, garnered a fearsome reputation on the battlefields of World War I. Standing in full view of German soldiers, oftentimes armed with only their bagpipes, Pipers were the first over the top, acting as a clarion call for British troops to keep moving. The sound of the bagpipes would spread terror among the German troops. When one lady from hell fell, miraculously, another piper would seemingly arise out of the trenches to take his place. The wailing of the pipers served to rouse the troops, but it came at a great cost. An easy target for the Germans, of the 2,500 pipers who served during the Great War. An estimated 500 were killed, while another 600 were wounded, 